Thank you for tuning in to the next installment of Lord Unzipped. This week we have a very special guest on our hands. Myself. So, Chris is yet again not here. So, we're going to have one of our other questionnaires ask us this question. Hello, this is Chris in Absentee, voiceover. What's going on, Chris? I have a question for you, Skip. Thanks for having me on Lord Unzipped. Well, thank you for showing up. Episode 3. It's an honor to be here with you. Thank you. The question is, what was the question in the first place? Ooh. Ooh. Yodale can, can you repeat the? <laughs> can you repeat the question for me? I don't think I quite understand it. Can you please repeat it? What was the question in the first place? What was the the question in the first place? Well, what was the first place? First place being a sports team or the bar we went to the other night? What was the first question? I think I know the answer to this. I think the answer is what? Very nice. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. So who's going to be our first questionnaire tonight? Skip. Ooh. Deuce, deuce. What is your favorite part musically on the Blacklisted album? Like a, a certain part of a certain song that All right. is your favorite to listen to or play or whatever. You know, if you had to pick a favorite part. If I had to pick a favorite part. A part that is my favorite. My favorite part. I'd have to say the uh, the opening riff on Not Your Problem. Okay, when the guitars come in? Yeah, the real dissonant part, the super heavy. Okay. So most of the time, uh, everybody else doesn't really know all of the lyrics until we demo stuff and everybody can hear everything. So I'm assuming at this point you don't know what the lyrics are in that part of the song. That would be correct. Okay, excellent. The lyrics are, sit in your abode creating waste, buying the unnecessary, eating excessively, wasting profusely, both your life and all our resources, say it slowly. Wow. You're, you're channeling your, your inner Tyler Durden, I see. As a inside, as a outside insider, now that, you know, that part of your song has had this new light on it, you know, what's going on over there? Well, First off, I'm, I'm very inclined to, to think back. It immediately reminds me of Fight Club. And I love the, the mental torture of that movie and the realization of what is really going on. So it, it reflects back to a, a feeling of, of a, like my favorite movie. Like It reminds me of like a, a very... Not joyous is the word to use because I'm not happy about it, but it's something that's very nostalgic in a way. And... Uh, brings good warming feelings to me. Even though it's very dissonant and uncomfortable for a lot of people, I'm oddly at comfort with that. Awesome, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Skip, skip. Keep, keep it unzipped. I always do. <laughs> skip, skip. What's up, buddy? What's going on? Chilling, Guy, buddy. how are you? Doing all right. So... What did it feel like after five years to be back in a studio with me in your ear saying, play faster, play faster, play faster? It, it was amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, there was a time that I hated hearing that 20 times a day, three days a week. But the push that that gave me on that album that we recorded was... Oh, we actually did two albums that that happened on, to be brutally honest. Uh, It pushed me to be a better musician and push myself outside of my comfort zone. And then when I go back and listen to the albums, I'm proud of what I've accomplished. And I I, I love that. So it was amazing to hear that because I knew it was going to be another big step, another big push. I'm going to be excelling in what I'm able to create, which then excels what all of you create. So it's an amazing feeling. Right on. I'm glad to hear that. Thanks, man. Uh oh. Well, hello there, Skip Skip. Hey, buddy. Uh, Skip Skip. I've got a. It's a two parter. Oh. It's a two parter. 
I'll, uh, I'm going to do the second part first. All right. And since you already know what the question was in the beginning. Yeah. What? <laughs> and then he's going to so, do the first part. And right. then I'm going to do the first part, but break that up into three parts. What? Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, after having recorded your uh, your full length debut in Lord with Awake, how comfortable did you feel this time around, and what did you feel that you brought to the table? What challenges? What, and also, what challenges did you face taking the far more aggressive nature of this material? Oh wow! Think hard. Think hard. Oh, I am thinking hard. Keep it unzipped. Exactly. Well, uh, what did I bring to the table? I, mean, I, I know that's the second part of your question, but I'm forgetting <laughs> the first part, so I'm kind of you know bypassing. <laughs> um, it was amazing recording here and what I thought I brought to the table was the not necessarily the intensity but the drive behind it. I wasn't the car I was the engine. Pushing you guys to play faster, play harder. I know uh, when we were tracking the demo with mile after mile I could hear both of you guys struggling to keep up and that's what I was like that's what I'm fucking bringing. <laughs> so when I hear you trying to keep up when I hear this one trying to keep up with me. That's when I get scared. <laughs> you know, it, it felt nice being the, the power behind it, and you guys filled out all of the uh, the intensity and the passion behind it. Uh, what was the last part of the question? Uh, I believe it... Uh, how, what challenges did you face uh, on the far more aggressive nature of this material compared to Awake? Ooh. Um, well... That was the first part. Yes, okay. So... A lot of them were actually playing faster, more intricate beats. I hadn't been doing that in quite a while. In Awake, there was, what, one, not even one blast beat. I think the first, that was actually recorded on a demo. And then there was only like one real, one or two really heavy double bass parts. So I hadn't, and I hadn't been doing that since I played a Paul Kosky five years ago. So it had been quite a while and it was quite a challenge to get back into shape to do that and to hit with the intensity and speed that I used to. And I... Uh, but it was a welcome challenge. I wanted to push myself. I wanted to get back there. It, you know, I I don't feel like I want to be doing blast beats all day long in every song. <laughs> Going to be brutally honest, but I don't think that's the direction that we're headed. So it's it's Todd, very nice. We got to write shit for blast beats yeah. on the next one. No, no, we're we're going to be writing nothing about that. <laughs> the horde opens. <laughs> I know you've listened to a lot of Morbid Angel lately, but there's more than just yeah. blast. Beats we're going to call there. it blast. Doesn't like know. Morbid Angel. Yeah, it's going to be blast. There, of listed. course, there's more than just blast beats out there. Just nobody cares about anything. Else. <laughs> Blast listed. I don't. I don't blast care listed. about anything else. <laughs> Good to know. Just blast all the time. Well, uh, thank blast you for your time, sir. You're very blast. welcome. And thank you guys for tuning in to the next installment of Lord Unzipped. I'm your host, the Skipper. Keep it tight. What was it?